that gap that separated us from God has been removed through Jesus Christ. And in all of this, we go back to the question from the beginning. What does it mean to believe in Jesus? Okay, God is for us. We hopefully got that down. But what does it really mean to believe in Jesus? I want to present three things that come with believing in Jesus this morning. The first one is this. When we believe in Jesus, God closed the gap for us. God closed the gap for us. What does it mean to believe in Jesus? It means God closed the gap. What's the gap? What's the gap? Stay in Romans 8, but let's go back to the beginning of the chapter. Let's go to verse 1, if you would. Verse 1. And he, he starts off, Paul, in writing this, starts off and he says, There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. This is much more powerful than we give credit. This is much more powerful than we talk about. A lot of times when we talk about there's no condemnation, we, we, we say it in the sense that, oh, don't be too hard on yourself. Don't condemn yourself because God forgives you. Very true. Okay, God forgives us, yes. That's so surface level to what this means. When sin entered the world, hear me on this, when sin entered the world, we were condemned to death through sin. This is the condemnation that Paul is referring to. When we were born, we are automatically born into a sin nature from the fall of Adam. And that sin nat nature leads to death. It is a condemnation of death. But there is now, because of what Jesus Christ has done for us, no condemnation. It has been removed. The gap that we are talking about this morning is the condemnation. It is the sin. That gap that separated us from God has been removed through Jesus Christ. Amen to that. Can somebody testify this morning? Can you give praise to Jesus this morning that he set himself on a cross? He died for our sins. That which separated us from God has been closed off in Jesus' name. I hope you get a sense that God is really for you this morning. He is so for you this morning. Paul goes on to say, for the law of the spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. For God has done what the law, weakened by the flesh, could not do. Translation on this, because there was a separation, there was a law established, there was a sacrificial system put in place so that our sins could be atoned for. but we couldn't even go to God for that. We had to have a priest go on our behalf. But God is so for us, he is so for us that he brought Jesus to do away with the law once for all, that no more sacrifice was ever needed for sin, that the atonement is complete and we have been given freedom in Jesus Christ. How has he closed the gap for us? By sending his own son and the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin. He condemned sin in the flesh. Whoa, wait a second. We were once condemned by sin, but Jesus himself condemned sin. He condemned sin in order that the righteous requirement of the law might be fulfilled in Jesus it's fulfilled in us, sorry, who walk not according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. We walk according to the Spirit. This first point, God closed the gap for us. What does it mean to believe in Jesus? It, it, it means that you were once separated from God. You were alienated from God. You could not go to God. Jesus, through his sacrifice, brought that separation. He built a bridge through his name, through his sacrifice, to go to God. The gap's been closed, and that's what it means to believe in Jesus.